So here I am again with uh, Windows 7 6801 on the 64-bit operating system. I'm running this on a 2.6 gigahertz AMD processor uh, with 4 gigs of RAM and uh, using eight, an HD3870 graphics card. Now, um, I'm just going to respond to all those uh, haters or uh, fanboys that uh, Windows 7 is not going to be like Vista. It's not going to be like XP. It's going to be a lot better. It takes a lot less resources. And if you guys don't believe me, I'm going to just show you that I'm running right now uh, the desktop slideshow. I have 21 wallpapers rotating every 10 seconds. And uh, this is because of uh, you can unlock this on the from the blue badge uh, revision two by Rafi. You can Google it up. But uh, I'm running that in the background, including the gadgets. I got a lot of open windows right here, including tabbed uh, tabbed browsing. Now this alone already would lag Vista SP1 and XP, even with four gigs of RAM. The reason why I could um, I can have all these open is because Windows utilizes a new memory management where uh, if you open a new window of an existing window, like let's say the directory, if you open a new window, it won't take any more memory than the previous uh, than the previous uh, than the previous directory. It means it won't take any more memory. You can keep on opening windows, and it won't take any more memory. So that's an improvement, and also they use now GPU acceleration with the operating system, which allows it to have less stress on the CPU. So in order to prove that, you know, I'm going to play three videos right now. Okay, three videos running at the same time, having the wallpaper in the background, having all these open applications, and none of them are slowing down. Okay, I can even easily. Uh, put it on the side if I wanted to see no slowdowns whatsoever and uh, the best part that I'm gonna do is that I also have a, a game running okay as you can see I'm running a video game to audio surf uses GPU acceleration now uh, whoa yeah so now you can see it runs well you can run it while you have your videos in the background and doing whatever and also to top that off of course I'll have to use crisis which is the most <laughs> the thing that will really kill my GPU because I only have an HD3870 which doesn't perform really great because it's crisis but anyways uh, you can see it still runs while the videos are still in the background so that's the thing that's Im improved in Windows 7, and not and also um, the simplicity of the taskbar. Okay, there's no operating system that has these thumbnails. All right, people say, oh, you copied this and this and this. You know what? They don't have exactly what this has as a thumbnail across like this. All right, you don't see that in KD. You don't see that in in Apple. Okay, maybe you see like big icons. Okay, wow, and then you see uh. Uh, you can move like the your icons back and forth or whatever you you, you know you call that you, you move it you know you just drag it back and forth but who cares all right that's just eye candy the whole purpose of windows 7 is stability performance ease of use and uh, compatibility which it does perfectly and there's an alpha release okay i haven't gone back to vista sp1 uh, since two and a half weeks I've been using this as my main operating system I've been making sure if it's compatible if it's uh, it's if it's running my programs properly and it has been running all my programs properly all of it and this is just an alpha release there's no other alpha release on, in the Windows history that's as stable as this so I can on only imagine the improvements that they'll have in retail so for those being skeptical, for those being haters, you know, just try it out. Be open-minded. Don't, uh, you know, don't close your close yourself in. Just try it out. This is uh, 
no other windows that you'd expect and you'd you'd stay on it you'd stick on it because of the performance and that's what people are looking for is performance so um, that's all I had to say um, just try it out stop assuming stop being an idiot stop bullshitting try it out now I even recommend Apple users to go do boot camp delete their S Vista SP1 and put Windows 7 on it that's how I highly recommend it but this is my opinion so you guys have got your own opinions go bash away if you want to but overall it's about performance and ease of use and which as Microsoft has done correctly and that's it <laughs>